Hi, this is Debbie with another video tutorial and chat. Um, I have been reading so many different concerns or complaints on the internet about the new Studio V3 software. Some of these complaints are totally legitimate and I understand that it's not been fun for many of you. Um, but I also wanted to explain a few other things that are going on that I think people are just a little bit um, confused about the new Studio uh, 3 software and this is the designer edition of Studio 3.0.343 now if you go up here to help and check for updates you'll notice that it's not showing you that there is an update there is an update you just have to go to the Silhouette Support site, go to Downloads, and download the new 3.0.343. The great thing about this new update is that the standard cut features are back. I'm going to go over here and show you these real quick. Standard cut features. Those are the ones that we've always been able to use. So for those that aren't happy with the layers, cut by layers, cut by line color, cut by feel, you still have the option to go over here to and use your standard um, cut features. And I'm just going to draw a couple of examples. And if I chose cut, and then I do this and I want to join two of these together to make a different kind of shape, and I select them both, and then I select cut edge, you'll see it, that's exactly what it does. It just cuts around the edge like our older software had done. And then you'll notice down here that you have all the different material types that can be used with your silhouette cutting machines. And it's also important to make sure one of these is selected. You can go down here to advanced and you can change some other settings. I just leave them as it is. Now, Another thing that I've heard of is a couple of complaints about the software not cutting or cutting off um, the area even with a basic cut. And sometimes it's also going back to those preferences again. You go to your preference panel and down here in your advanced and I'm going to scroll down and you'll see under packet size. Now this may help with some of those that are getting these kind of crazy cuts. This also occurred in the older software. Some computers or users have to change it to 500 bytes. You close out of the studio software, you reopen it, and you do a test cut. Some of you have had to change it to 1,000 bytes. And then, once again, you're back to getting some pretty good cuts. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this because this computer is not linked to um, my cameo. Okay, the other thing I wanted to address that's going on right now, and I know that many of you aren't happy about this, and it is a, a bit confusing. Some are still using the Studio Legacy V2 version. Um, I don't recommend this, but I have both versions installed on my computer. And here's what's happening this week. Okay, as you know, each week Silhouette offers a freebie cutting file. Some aren't seeing it when they go to the store. They're not seeing their, their popular designs. And when they click on Shape of the Week, they, they download it. And I'm going to go to my library to show I've downloaded it. And the 3D Tulips, I double click on this and see I get this. The file you're attempting to access requires you to update your software. And I'm just going to hit Cancel because... I know that this is an issue and something that many of you are not happy with because you've chosen to remain using the V2 software, which is still offered by Silhouette as an alternative. But going back to the Studio V3, some of you are sticking with this, this Legacy Edition because you said you missed the standard cut features, but they're right here in the new Studio 3 version. And I just wanted to make sure all of you know this. Now another question I was asked was about more about the advanced cutting cut settings. Okay, if I go into the advanced cut settings, and as you can see, again we have our layers, we have our line color, which so far I've only used red, and then we have our fill color, which I have no fill color, but I could still select that as a cut and see it shows up. 
and then I can also click here to do a cut by edge. Okay, so let's go over and talk about these layers a little more. And I'm going to go ahead and open up, and this is in the Studio Designer Edition, I'm going to go ahead and open up some layers. Now it shows here that I've created two polygon shapes, but say I wanted this one to cut on um, chipboard. So since I click this and I see this is my next, this is the one I want cut on chipboard. As a matter of fact, I'm going to delete that out and just make it a different shape to keep it clear. Okay, so I want my square to be cut on a chipboard. So when I click this, it shows up over here. It's a polygon shape, and I'm, and I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm just going to drag this polygon shape down here. Now if I want to be sure and clear of what I've dragged down here, I can double click on this and name it Square. And this one up here, I can name Circle. Okay, so this is one way that I may want to use my Layers feature. So I'm going to close out of this to go up here and show you more so we get a better view. And then notice in here, I have my two layers. I have my, which I could have renamed back here also. So we'll just go back to layers again real quick. Circle. Squares. Or I could type in the medium, which I will put chipboard what I want cut out in chipboard. I'm going to close out of this again and go back and then look there. There's my circle and there's my squares I want cut in chipboard. So all I have to do is go down here, select the media type, which there's so many different medias in here. It sometimes takes me a little bit to find them. and there we go and you notice it changed my settings for this particular piece if I go here to my circle and I say I want to cut it out in just uh, some kind of cover stock we'll just choose that one you notice it's changed this selection as well so when I select a layer I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my chipboard layer and I just got that message because I have stu two studio programs opened and the um, recording software. So I'm going to close out of that. And I'm going to go ahead and go in here and close out of my Studio V2. Okay, so now I'm back to this. I've turned this off because the first cut I want to make is on my cover stock. So there's my settings. And of course I can move this where I want it on my paper and go ahead and send it through to the to my um, cameo and then the next thing I want to do is go back put in a different type of media so I'm going to turn this one off this one on and run it back through my and using cover stock cut this shape so that's one of the many ways that layers may come in handy. Another way too is say I'm making some kind of paper piecing project where I have a bunny rabbit and I want the the I'm saying bunny rabbit because because of Easter just recently um, <clears throat> and I want the ears and I want the face and everything to all be in say a pretty pink and everything so I want to put my pink cardstock so I could actually type the color of the cardstock in there for each piece run them through cut only those shapes on the pink cardstock, then the next pieces maybe for the not the the eyes, the nose, whatever other little pieces may be involved, run them through and cut them on black cardstock. And this is also another way that line color or fill color will help. Okay, the line color we can simply just go up and change this. 
for the textured cardstock to any old color we want. We can change this to another color. Now we'll go back to our cut settings. Go to line color and notice I have a green line color in there and I want say I want my green to cut chipboard and all I have to do is change that setting. Now I'm going to cut my cover stock first so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the green cut line and cut my cover stock and I can even lay these on top of each other because they're, this is turned off so it's not going to cut out my um, green circle it's just going to cut out the square that's here with the cover stock because this is the one that I have selected now we go to line color or fill color which I don't have so we'll go back and fill this we'll fill this one with a red and this one with a green I'm going to go back to my cut settings and now you see I have these two options of cutting the green color or the red color again I change my material my media over here I'm just going to select chipboard for the red and you see that change right there I'm going to leave the green at cover stock again I can overlap these because I'm going to turn off the chipboard because I'm cutting on cover stock so I run this through cut my red square on cover stock I come back I'm sorry I meant to say my green oval on cover stock I come back I turn this off lay on my new media run it back through again and now I'm going to cut my red square on some chipboard so this is where the layers the line color the fill color will come in really handy um, but remember we still have the standard features so don't be afraid to use the software if you're more comfortable staying in the standard mode and cutting the way that you used to go ahead and just stay in the standard cut features if you want to get a little bit more creative um, or have a big project that you have several little layers and stuff that you want to use different materials like the other day I used some with vellum some with chipboard and this is how I went about cutting all of this um, I'm trying to think of any other little issues that may have come up uh, with this new Studio 3 software. For the most part, I have to say, the things that I've tried, yes, there's still little problems and everything, but the cuts I've made and the things I've tried, you know, have worked out wonderfully for me, even though I totally understand there are some of you that have had problems. Some of them are just as really simple resolves like changing the packet size some of them are things that silhouette is still working on but the main thing is is that I just want everyone to enjoy this software as much as they can um, we can only go forward with technology not backwards I think this is some fine software there's little glitches and little bugs in it that still need to be resolved um, I think the layers and the cut by color and cut by line will come in so handy with so many different projects but the great thing is is that we can still rely on our standard cut features I hope this video helped explain the layers the cut by line and the line feel and um, as I get questions I've been trying to make videos and hope that all of these will help you guys enjoy the software as much as I've enjoyed it have a great day. Happy crafting. I'll see you on the Silhouette Plus forum or on my blog. Bye now.